So hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this video tutorial, we are going to cover the dynamic link library in Windows. So basically, DLL is a library that contains code and data that can be used by more than one program at the same time. Application calls at runtime. DLL reduces the size of executable file because it resides outside the executable file. If we do any changes in our application, then we need to compile only DLL, not whole application. They are slower compared to a static library. Single copy of DLL for each program and DLL also called the shared library. So application and DLL both are the executable. But what is the difference between them? So in application can have a multiple instances of itself, but DLL can have only one instances. Application have own local memory stack, file handle and message queue, but DLL don't have such things. An application can be run independently, DLL, DLL is used by other application. Application always runs its own address space, while DLL always need a host address to run. Types of function provided by the DLL, DLL export and import are the storage class attribute specific to the Microsoft and basically the, uh, these are the ex extension to the C and C++ languages. So first we see the what is the exported function. Exported functions are intended to be called by other modules. Exported function can be also called from within the DLL where they are defined. So in uh, DLL export, if you implement your function in DLL, and you are exporting, then it becomes available for all to use your DLL. There are the thing is uh, declaration and specification, and then DLL export and declarator. So now in imported or internal function, imported functions are intended to be called by only from within the DLL where they are defined. In this case, we only provide the signature of functions and link our code to library. Dynamic library extension in different OS. If you see there, these are the extensions of the different OS. In Linux, we call shared object. In Mac, uh, dynamic library, dylib. So there are two types of linking of DLL. First one is the implicit linking. In implicit linking, sometimes called a static load or load time dynamic linking. An application use prototype header and import library to link an external symbol. OS loads the DLL when executable using it is loaded. DLL does not remove the memory unless the application is terminated. In explicit linking, sometimes called a dynamic load or runtime dynamic linking, where when application does not link the external symbol by import, port library whether it load the DLL at runtime. OS loads the DLL on demand at runtime. Memory if you talk about that the implicit and explicit linking. In explicit linking requires memory then it takes the required size of memory and free whenever does not required. So you have to follow. They have specified each and everything from the Microsoft. So now let's move to our programming. Click on new project, console application, and then first I'm creating the dynamic library. So I see DLL here I'm writing. It will create a folder. Then click OK. Go to next, select DLL, empty project, and do finish. Then go to the header file, right click onto that, add new item. First, we, we are going to create the header file. So our header file name is mycalcdll.h. Click add. Now, so here I am using my previous. So just I am, uh, these things we need to copy all things here. And then change this name to DLL. And 
put here hash and div. Now, if you see the link here, they have already specified how to create the header file for the library. So I'm just copying it here. And now I'm changing this name to change this name, my Calci DLL. Now copy these things. And here you have to write my Calci DLL API and just copy this thing. Now, so there are two ways to write this. You can write this way or you can write this way. Both you can use. So here I am using So we have uh, also here just change the name my calcium dll dot h now go to the source file right click onto that new item now this time here we are going to provide the definition for that so my calcium dll dot c just i'm copying this whole line once again And now change this to my Calci DLL. And now add to header file. So hash include my Calci DLL dot h. And same thing. Here we are providing the definition for all the functions: addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And last hash and if we are closing that. So now just time to compile this. Go and build this. So now if you see the my Calci DLL has already created. So check this in this folder. If you go my Calci DLL in debug, see here dot DLL one is the exported library. There is an incremental linker file here, the object file. And this one is the program debug data and in this my calci dll it contains the definition and header file for that and this one is the my calci dll dot vcx pros file we are going to create the application for that so, so click on new project console application change this to my app okay next then console application check this empty project do finish so right click on to the solution properties here then add existing project now this time we have to select this vcx pros and click open here so it will listed here then go to the my app right click properties and in this uh, properties, go to the common properties, references, add new references. Now check this, then click OK. Then what you have to do here, just expand this configuration properties. Go to the C++, general, click on this arrow icon, edit, in this folder icon. Here we have to provide the header file for that. So my Calci and just click that. Then click OK. And then you have to go in debugging tab and in environment section click that. Here you have to write path, then here your application, whenever your application will create here, so it will contain this debug folder. 
so we have to give this path so copy and paste it here then click ok then apply and ok so now we have linked our library to this so in my app go to the source file right click on to that add new item click uh, on cpp file so change this to my app dot c straight forward i'm writing here click add so now i'm copying my previous example so just copy whole program paste it change this library here to uh, provide the header file so load my calcdll.h same thing and just here you have to write system pause that's it so it's time to run our application so right click go to build so if you see the build is succeeded now in uh, in your application in debug directory if you see the executable file and dll and your Live file means object files has already link. So now it's time to run. So the result has because the basic program of how to create the DLL in Windows. Thanks for watching this video. Do hit comment, share, and subscribe this channel.